What's going on everybody? Kenny Dubs here with another Mega Man X Dive video. Uh, this one's going to be a little bit different. Um, so today it marks the the one year, um, uh, I guess, anniversary of me starting this account. And if we come over here, um, see right here, 1100 days, but it is over 365. So uh, I get, apparently I started this game uh, last August 19th because I, I don't even remember it being... Uh, this close to the actual launch of the game, but uh, that's when apparently I joined. I just kind of wanted to talk about the game and my thoughts, and then maybe we'll do some polls afterwards. Um, so I've been really enjoying this game over this past year. Uh, for those of you that don't know, uh, I am a very, very large Mega Man fan. Um, I've loved Mega Man ever since I was a kid. Uh, I believe my first experience with it was... I... I think Mega Man 8 was the first game I played as a child, uh, and then after that, I believe X4 into X, but um, I've been really enjoying this game. Uh, this game has gotten a lot better um, over the course of the year since launch. Uh, we've had some ups and downs, um, but uh, for the most part, it's been pretty enjoyable. Um, obviously, um, you know, we like the... The downs were, were pretty, the lows were pretty low, um, but like I said, for the most part, I think um, this game has been okay and enjoyable. And uh, let's take a look at some of the characters and the weapons I have as well. I still don't have Leviathan or base EXE just yet. Uh, I'm going to be waiting until I pull them. I'm not going to unlock these two. Um, I don't really pull on many banners outside of like where there's a limited character. Um, the one time I did that was uh, Proto Man EXE. Outside of that, I've only pulled on limited uh, limited banners, so I don't actually have uh, you know too many die festival units, as you can see here. I have uh, I think two. Uh, I have uh, Ultimate Armor X and uh, I have Iris. Yeah, I have Iris. Uh, but I was also very fortunate on the the daily singles for uh, swimsuit Iris, and I got her. And I was very fortunate during the Monster Hunter event as well. Uh, I got Hunter V from the free pulls, and I got I had a Pity Rathless Armor X. Uh, and then the Street Fighter event was very, very kind to me as well. I was able to get Ryu, Chun-Li, and Akuma. Um, and I didn't have Akuma or Ryu on my Taiwan account. I should have been aiming for one of those two because I have Chun-Li on my Taiwan account. But I like Chun-Li the most out of these characters, so I pulled for her. Um, other than that, uh, like I said, I don't pull very often uh, outside of like limited banners. So uh, typically die festival banners are going to be the only time when I pull or collaboration events like maybe when the Monster Hunter event comes back around. Um, at least as of right now, I don't know if I'll be pulling on. I don't really plan to pull on any of the seasonal character events, even though some of them I do like. Um, I just... I didn't pull them in my Taiwan account, and I don't think I'll pull them on this account, though I would be nice to have some characters that are different. Oh, that's right. I also got a White Day Axel. Uh, so I don't think I ever uploaded the polls where I got White Day Axel in this, in the, um... I forgot the name of the weapon that came with White Day Axel, uh, but I mostly wanted that, but I got White Day Axel and the weapon as well. Um... I forgot the name of the weapon. Uh, well, let's go look at it, because I have the weapon. Uh, Freezing Dominator. Um, I was going to say Duff McWhalen because that's what it's modeled after. <laughs> uh, but it is the Freezing Dominator. And uh, in terms of weapons, actually, um, I do pull on the the limited weapon banners uh, because those are limited. And uh, you're guaranteed uh, S-rank weapons at certain steps on the step-ups for that. So I don't mind putting um, you know a few weapons, a few um, pulls into those. Uh, I've been doing five pulls on them typically, but I might not do that as much going forward, depending on the weapon. Uh, though if we do get the, if we keep the the pity uh, for ten pulls, maybe on something like uh, the decides will, I will do that then because the decides will is a good weapon, and I would like that add that to my arsenal. Other than that, I got my main chase weapon uh, pretty recently. It finally exists on one of my accounts, the shooting dragon buster. I wanted this for quite some time, and um, I think eight. No, maybe 
I, I want to say between six and eight months after it released, I was finally able to get my hands on it. Um, I'm not, I don't remember exactly when this released though. I don't think, this, no, it just didn't release two months into the game. Uh, so I don't think it was, I don't think it's been eight months. Uh, but it has been quite some time, and I finally got uh, the weapon I wanted the most. Oh, that's right. I also pulled on the banner with Leviathan and Nightmare uh, back when that first release as well. That was a, another banner that I um, that was not limited that I pulled on because Nightmare is a phenomenal weapon. I didn't get Leviathan, but um, I got the Nightmare. Um, as for my other weapons, uh, I've been very fortunate with my limited weapons as well. As you can see here, I have the Sinister Gatling Gun, which is from the Monster Hunter event. Uh, aside from that, I have the Atomic Disintegration, the Savage Tusk of Thunder, um, Singularity Slasher, Berserker Great Sword. Um, I just recently got the Destructive Laser as well. I th believe the Boomerang Blade is part of this also, but I don't really... Um, I didn't really want that. I, I kind of just got that as a byproduct when I was pulling. Uh, I think the Boomerang Blade is a part of that. It might not be, um, but uh, I got the Explosive Flamethrower as well as it released early in Global alongside Street Fighter event. Uh, Freezing Dominator, as I mentioned earlier. Uh, Assault Equipment, which was I was really glad to get because this is fantastic for boss stages. And yeah, I think that's all the limited weapons uh, that I have. Um, as far as account progress overall, uh, I'm level 146, as you can see. Um, I haven't done too much on the Jacob's Orbital Elevator. I should get back to doing more, but um, I'm quite lazy. <laughs> um, and I just don't really have the motivation to actively do it. Uh, and for the, the challenge, um, I'm stopped at floor 33. Uh, because like I said, I've been lacking a little bit in motivation to actually do it. Um, but I also wanted to record my progress just because I started doing a, um, as you may remember a while ago, I had, I've done up to floor 20 in my Jacob Orbital Elevator Challenge, um, videos. But, um, the reason I stopped myself at 433 is because I just started recording. I quickly realized that when you fight a boss, um, on challenge mode, you've already when you fight a boss you've already beaten, uh, their HP resets, and that makes it a bit difficult to record because uh, the bosses later on start having more and more HP, and once you start getting the bosses with, uh, you know, 100, 200, or 300 HP bars, um, I'm gonna have to do multiple runs anyway, uh, so I'll either have to record the boss in either, in either one go, which for some of them I can do, uh, this like this one I probably wouldn't be able to do, or do it in segments. And for some stages, they have multiple bosses, so I would have to record, um, or rather, I would ideally record um, doing a set amount of HP bars to one or both bosses in, in one, you know, with one character, and then with another character, or we know, we know whatever, going forward, uh, just do more and more, so on and so forth. Like, if I do, uh, let's say I do 15 bars of HP, to Stink Chameleon, and I think they have like 45-ish. I would need to do three characters where I lower, or I get eat 15 bars on both of them, or ideally, uh, that's what I would do, 15 or more. Uh, but yeah, that's why I've kind of stopped, uh, I've slacked on recording the Jacob's Orbital Elevator. I will get back to it. Um, something that I was also doing with this, I don't think I ever mentioned it, but I was using A and B rank characters as well. So that was a little bit of a challenge to myself to do. Uh, but if I get back to recording this, I might not keep it to A and B rank characters. Um, just because, um, you know, it's, it's uh, interesting to, to show that, I, I feel. And it might give people more, other people more motivation to, to do the floors so that they don't know, so that they know they don't need, uh, you know, the, the top meta picks uh, for these floors. A uh, character that I used a lot was actually Massimo um, in them. And he's one of the characters I always suggest to people because he's a fantastic budget unit for this. And basically everyone gets him for free uh, because he's a B rank character, but also you can make him in the lab. So he he is essentially a free unit because everyone can get him pretty 
uh, pretty easily, aside from him being a B-rank unit. So you don't even have to pull for him. So that's one of the reasons why I always recommend uh, Massimo. Uh, but other than that, um, I've actually forgotten to do PvP the last season. Uh, two seasons ago, I think. And actually, uh, at all, and you drop down to D rank. Uh, because I was GA, so then you drop down to A. But then I... I forgot to do PvP at all last season. So I dropped all the way down to D. I got up to C at the end of last season. Uh, but it's hard to find people, so then I just kind of just stopped. Um, I will have to do it again soon, and hopefully get out of C rank if I can find enough people. Um, but uh, for the time being, I'm in C rank. And you can see this is the team that I've been using. Um, Classic X, Mega Man EXE, and my UAX, which has basically been what I've been using. Uh, once Mega Man EXE came out, uh, I swapped out Classic Mega Man uh, and put in Mega Man EXE. Uh, because I like Mega Man EXE more than like Classic Mega Man. Uh, as far as guild stuff goes, uh, I would still like to have more people join my guild. Um, we hit C rank recently, but we're still only at uh, 10 people, unfortunately. So it's going to be harder to raise our rank because we don't have as many people. Um, more people means um, you know easier to rank up, less people have to donate uh, 10k zenny a day. We donate a lot less and we get better rewards as well. All right, and I think I want to talk a little bit about some upcoming plans I have for content. I usually don't like to do this just because uh, sometimes I will have something all planned out. I'll have the footage recorded and then I just uh, put it on the back burner or it's just one of those things where I get in my own head. and I'm like, no, I can make this better. So then uh, it kind of just gets put off uh, for a while. I actually have a few videos in kind of limbo uh, like that right now that I'd plan to upload. Um, but I did want to start doing character showcases, uh, but because I don't pull that often, it's kind of difficult for me to get uh, character showcases, uh, you know, and make sure I have enough patches for a character showcase and have a character fully built up, especially because now that we have DNA, so uh, I think the only character that I have 5 star with full DNA is I have Classic X, or Base, base X, and... Uh, I think Ultimate Armor X is my only other unit at 5 star with all its fixed DNA. I don't have all its recombined DNA um, like I do on Base X, but um, you know I will like to do some of those once um, once I can get more characters fully fully built. Uh, it might be a bit easier for weapon weapon showcases, just because uh, you get a lot more weapon patches. Um, but at least for the S rank weapons, I would want to also have their the hidden skill that I'd be interested in at the very least uh, for that. So I need to get them to five star as well, or uh, I could just use um, I could use a super liberation core, but I only have one, so. Um, I, I don't know if I want to use it immediately just for uh, that. But I do want to start doing more show. Oh, you got your hidden skill? I didn't even know this got the hidden skill. Oh. Yeah, I had no idea. Oh, hold on. So did, did this get a hidden skill too? Was this just a stealth update and I missed it? This has it too. Wait. Okay, the characters don't have their DNA, at least. Uh, but they do have their... Um, we do have the hidden skills for the weapon, which is pretty cool. Uh, other than that... I just want to buy this while I'm thinking about it. Uh, coming over here to the store. Uh, we've had some decent deals in the store, but as kind of per usual... Um, what I would suggest is just getting the the daily the daily drop packs, like the daily packs. These are probably the best value uh, you can get in the store, um, just because you get a total of if you get all three, uh, you get a total of an extra 2,700 EMs a month, which I started getting, 
Um, so I might like to spend around this game. Uh, other than that, there's not really much else worth buying in this pack. Um, or buying from this store, in my opinion. Uh, there are some other things every once in a while that I was just like, mm, maybe you can get. But uh, things like this. These are nice, and I'm glad that we have access to these. Um, but also, they're traps. So I highly, I don't recommend anyone buy, buy either of these. Um, unless maybe you're a really big whale. Um, but even then, it's not even that reliable for um, for the purposes of what you want it for. I don't have any other good deals here, um, just because like the the really broken deals they ha they released once and then um, it was too good, so we haven't been able to get any more. Uh, there are some things I wanted to talk about, but I want I don't want to ramble on too much for this video because this was supposed to just be like a a show and tell of my account after a year of playing this game and some thoughts about the game um but let's end it off with some polls um i wasn't initially going to pull for dive armor x but i figured that because um i was going to do a video concerning the one year anniversary of me playing this game i would do some celebratory pulls for dive armor x uh, like I said, this wasn't planned uh, initially when Divermex came out, but once I looked at my login days, I figured, uh, I guess I'll do it. So, I guess the one upside is that I would not have to pity Armor X because uh, I've been doing my daily singles, and as you saw right there, I was at 9. This puts me to 10, so I'm just going to skip that guts blue. Uh, that's B rank. So, that means that's one less multiple for me to do with my free EMs. And I have, um, I just want to check my free EMs. I have 42,000 free EM, like I said, because I don't really pull um, outside of like the limited characters and limited banners. So um, let's let's do this. Uh, maybe if I'm lucky, uh, it will be like one or two pulls, or maybe I'll get some incredible odds. Okay, I will get some other die festival units as well. Okay, so let's. Uh, Actually, this video is already quite long, so I'm just going to skip. Okay, it's a dupe anyway. Um, that's unfortunate. But, you know, uh, I'll take the patches. Uh, <laughs> it's Iris. Hold on, wait a minute. So you're telling me <laughs> that of the two Die Festival characters that I own, I got Iris? <laughs> Instead of one of the other ones that I don't own? That's very, very unlucky. <laughs> Uh, the 900 character patches is nice though, but another another S rank. So these odds are indeed incredible. So we'll take a look here. Two. We'll slow over these because these are uh, these are towards the start. We'll, we'll, we'll roll up to the fourth one. Okay. Character. Okay. All right. <laughs> well. Um. So that was a very very quick. Uh, Dive Armor X. That's pretty cool. And I don't have one on my Taiwan account either. So that is very, very nice. So I can play around with him on Global. Okay, let's see. What if this is another Dive Armor X? Second Armor X. Okay. Patches are nice. Um, I would have preferred like someone I didn't have, like maybe Rogue or Magma Dragoon, maybe. But, um, that's cool. I feel like the, did the, did the last A-Ring change? I feel like it did based on that sound effect when I hit skip. It might have. No, it did not. Okay. Uh, but that was a very, very solid, uh, session. Uh, for that as well. I think that's a great way to end off my, uh, my one year. Um, you know, uh, I guess like a little, 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 little celebration. I say a celebration, but, um, it's not really a celebration. Um, I was actually thinking about doing one multi pull here, um, just to see if I can get top 300 uh, for the Rico skin. Uh, but the problem with that is uh, I'm not even guaranteed to stay in top 300, so uh, that would be a bit of a, a pain for that. But now maybe I can stay in the top 300 and get the Rico skin. I don't have Rico just at the moment, but uh, maybe I will get her in the future pulling for someone else. Uh, but yeah. 
uh, that's it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Help the channel as you go. Show me enjoying the content. Uh, I also actually want to thank all of you who uh, ended up watching me um, for my time making content for X Dive. Um, I didn't actually think that too many people would end up uh, liking my videos in the community. Uh, but a lot more people showed interest uh, than I initially thought would. So I just want to thank you guys for um, for that. And hopefully I can get, I'll continue to make content for the global version of the game. I say hopefully, um, but I will probably play this game until um, we get an end of service notice. And hope and I just hope it doesn't that doesn't come anytime soon. Uh, but yeah. Anyway, catch you guys next time. Later. Thank you.